Vidur College, Grade 3, Environmental Studies, Safety and Protection, Part 1. Hello children, hope you all are keeping fine at home. Today, we are going to learn a new lesson for Environmental Studies, Safety and Protection. Under this lesson, we are going to learn how to protect from injury or harm, danger or loss. We can face accidents anywhere at any time. So we should be careful when we are walking on the road, working at home or school or playing in the playground. The school is a safe place. Your principals, teachers and everyone at school have taken many actions to make the school environment a safe place. But it's your responsibility to be aware of whatever you are doing. Now, let's see what are the accidents that can happen at school. This is Dishan. He is going to a new school today. He is very excited to meet his new friends. His teacher warmly welcomed Dishan. He is so happy. The teacher took Dishan around the school to teach him the school rules and the good practices that he should follow in his new school. He saw some new friends playing in the playground peacefully. He was so happy. Teacher taught him it is nice to take care of each other even when they are playing. Now let's see what are the good practices that Dishan has to follow in his new school. Not only for Dishan, these are the good practices that you also can follow to avoid accidents that can happen in the school. You can see the child is standing on the chair. Is it a good thing? No, you shouldn't stand on chairs or desks. Let's see what is the next thing Dishan's teacher has taught him. Look at this picture. Children, you should not push or hit your friends. These actions can make your friends sad. And it can cause injuries, so you shouldn't push or hit your friends. Children, you can run in the school playground, but you should not run in the classroom or in corridors. Children, when we are at the school, we should learn how to go in a line. You should line up nicely and you should not talking. And you should follow the teacher without making any disturbances. My dear students, you must be careful when walking in stairs. You should walk in lines in stairs too to avoid accidents. Be mindful you should not run in stairs. Dishan learned a lot of good practices that he should follow in his new school. At the end, his teacher asked him to find out some accidents that can happen at home. He came home happily and started to do his homework. Dishan found out some of the accidents that can happen at home. Let's see what are they. Number 1. Electric shocks Children you shouldn't touch electric equipment with wet hands. Always aware of the condition of the electric equipment before using. You can wear rubber slippers to minimize 
the damage caused due to the electric shock. Number 2. Leakage of gas. This is one of the dangerous accidents that can happen at home. Whenever you feel the smell of the gas, you can open the doors and windows to avoid the danger. Number 3. You should be very careful when using sharp objects such as knives and scissors. If you are using them inappropriately, you will meet many accidents. Number 4. Overdosage of medicine. When taking medicine, you must take them under the supervision of adults. If you take overdose of medicine, it can harm your life. Number 5. Animal bites. If you have a pet at home or if you are playing with a strange animal, you should be very careful. Animals such as dog and cat can bite us. It is dangerous because it can harm our body and can spread dangerous diseases like rabies. Those are some of the accidents that can happen at home. My dear students, home is the best place we ever have. Our parents provide us enough love and protection. But we have to be very careful to avoid accidents that can happen at home. If any damage or harm caused, in any moment, you can contact some authorities to get the help of the professionally trained officers. These are the organizations that help people in emergencies. Sri Lanka Police, Sri Lanka Army, Sri Lanka Red Cross and Sri Lanka Health Ministry. My dear children, I hope you learned a lot about safety and protection. Let's meet in another interesting lesson.